Hollywood Game. Starring Bob Goen. Good evening. Did you know that Bette Midler turned down the lead as a nun in Sister Act? It's true. We have plenty of great Hollywood trivia to entertain you with tonight, so get ready to match with the two teams here in our studio. Let's meet them now. Here they are. Please welcome our first team, their sisters, originally from New York City, Allison Simonoff and Pam Clam. And say hello to team number two. He was her waiter, and now they're married, Eric and Melanie Johnson. Welcome to all four of you. Nice to have you here on the Hollywood game. Pam and Allison, your sisters. Yes, that's Do you right. uh, share a common appreciation for films? Do you have a one show that you like a lot? Absolutely. What's that? Well, we both love to watch I Love Lucy. Oh, one of our yeah. favorites. Of course. Pam, do you have a favorite <laughs> film, too? I Love Gone with the Wind. Oh, yeah. Classic. Favorite. Who can't like that? Melanie and Eric, welcome to you. Melanie, how about you? Do you have a favorite show? Uh, my favorite TV show is Seinfeld. Yeah, that's a good one. And Eric, how about you? And mine is uh, Goodfellas. Okay, well, great. Let's get started with this show that we're talking about, The Hollywood Game. We do that by turning our attention to the Hollywood sign. Nine letters in the Hollywood sign. Each of those letters corresponds to a category. Today's categories are Pain in the Neck, Wizard of Oz, Car Talk, Golden Oldies, Ellen, Top Heavy, Bathtub Rings, Three of a Kind, and Family Tree. Now, here in round one, we're going to ask two questions in each category. First question is worth $100, and then we double the value for the second question. It's worth $200. And before the game, our teams tossed the coin to see who was going to go first. And it looks like Eric and Melanie won that coin toss. So if you would, please, select the category. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz? Wizard of Oz. Here we go with Wizard of Oz, okay? Well, The Wizard of Oz is one of the most beloved stories of all time, so let's go to the movies and watch a scene from this great film. Dorothy, well, what has Dorothy done? What's she done? I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. Me, she bit you? No, her dog. Oh, she bit her dog, eh? Now, that lady means business, even in that hat. Now, for $100, tell me the name of the actress who is looking for Dorothy's dog. Margaret Hamilton. Margaret, Margaret Hamilton. Margaret Hamilton. It is Margaret Hamilton. Good for you. You're on the board first with $100. Now, let's look at another scene from The Wizard of Oz. Candace. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Now, the bubbly character that Dorothy has just met, of course, she's the perfect person to act as a tour guide through Oz, but for $200, tell me the full name of this beautiful witch. Glenda, the good witch of the North. Of the North? Yes. Glenda, the good witch of the North. That's it. Yes. All right. Good for you. There is $200 more. Put you at $300. Pam and Allison, you see how easy it is to make money here? Let's see if you can do the same here in round one. Select the category, please. Wilshire family tree. Wilshire family tree. A family tree. Your new family tree. Okay, great. Well, we're going to take a look at the American family in this category through television and film. Now, our first fictional family lives in New York in the 1950s. Let's tune into a scene from the popular television series, Brooklyn Bridge. What does she tell you? Well, this and that. A dinner you missed? Some flowers you sent? Not to Miriam? Motel matches that dropped out of someone's pants? Wait a minute, there were no motel matches. All right, that I put in. <laughs> okay, now that was Marion Ross in her role as the matriarch of her family. You can win $100 here if you can tell me the name of the actor who played her husband on Happy Days. Oh, Tom Bosley, right? Tom Bosley. Right, yes, it is Tom Bosley. There's $100, Junior, on the board. Now we have a look at a 90s family. Let's go to the movies and watch a scene from one of this summer's comedies, Class Act. Hey, what took you so long? Can't you hear? Oh, my. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Duncan. Blade? <laughs> what a surprise. Nice crew. Uh, 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 Mom, Dad, uh, this is my friend Blade. Blade? That's your name? Dad, is that yours? That guy has to drive with the sunroof open, doesn't he? Now, Christopher Martin and Christopher Reed are spending their summer trading places. If you can give us the name of the rap group that they comprise, you'll win $200. Boys in the Hood. Boys, boys in the Hood? No, that's incorrect. Eric and Melody, you can steal their $200. Kid and Kid play. play. Okay. Kid and Play. Kid and Play is what we're looking for. There you go. You steal $200 and you take a $400 lead. Eric and Melanie with 500, Pam and Allison with 100. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more money, more movies, and a chance for one of our teams to win $25,000. Round two after this.
game round two here this is where we ask three questions in each category we double the value for each question the first one worth two hundred dollars second one worth four hundred and the third question worth eight hundred dollars so we go over here melanie and eric would you select the category top heavy. Top, heavy. top heavy top heavy is what you're going for all right now this is the category where the actors are putting up a good front so to speak let's go to the movies for a look at madonna in a league of their own My uniform bursts open and, oops, my bosoms come flying out. You think there were men in this country who ain't seen your bosom? <laughs> I guess most of us have seen Madonna's chest at one time or another, but you may not be as familiar with Madonna's teammate. For $200, who's that girl? Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, it is Rosie O'Donnell. Good for you. $200 more. You're at 700 Our next beauty is from the comedy favorite, Young Frankenstein. Let's take a look at the talent of Terry Gar. Doctor. <laughs> oh, thank you, Terry, very much. Terry Gar played Dr. Frankenstein's assistant in this hilarious parody, and you can earn $400 if you can tell me who played the doctor's fiance. Madeline, Madeline Kahn. Kahn. Ma Madeline Kahn. Yep, you got it. Madeline Kahn it is. $400 more. You're on a roll, you two. You're at $1,100. Now, when you think of big stars in Hollywood, Dolly Parton probably comes to mind. So let's go to the movies and sneak a peek at Dolly hard at work in Straight Talk. Okay, and our first caller is... Oh, good grief. Oh, what a mess. How is this the room TV? So you see how messy I really am? I'm busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. Well, Dolly's always kept pretty busy, and for $800, name two of her other feature films. Okay, rhinestone, rhinestone. Okay, and you... rhinestone. That's one. Steel Magnolias. Steel Magnolias. You got it. There you go. Steel Magnolias it is. Nine to five, another one. And Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, another. But you have $800 more. Put you at 1900 Pam and Allison, come on. Let's catch up here. Pick a category. You want golden oldies? We'll start with golden oldies. Golden oldies, okay. Well, whoever said that everything improves with age was probably a pretty young person, but the actors in this category have all grown old gracefully. Let's go to the movies for a scene from one of our favorite oldies. The princess and the chauffeur. Those are Count Hard you this morning, Rudolph. So watch the road, watch the road. I can't take my eyes off you. How can I drive when you drive me mad? Mad! <laughs> Rudolph, oh, you dirty pig. Pull over. <laughs> that Zero Mostel with Estelle Winwood is the character with a very unusual name. Hold Me, Touch Me. That was her name. Now, for $200, what is the name of this Mel Brooks film? The producers? The producers. It is the producers. $200. There you go. You're up to $300. Now, let's watch TV and a scene from The Golden Girl. It's the calendar. <laughs> month has the picture of a man who's brought some special joy into my life. Well. September. Yep. I'm surprised you're able to walk in October. <laughs> well, sex for seniors, the theme here. Uh, in the final episode of The Golden Girls, Dorothy married Blanche's uncle. For $400, who played her groom? Leslie, Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. You saw that episode. It's Leslie Nielsen. $400 wow. more. Put you at $700. Now, our next oldie is from a scene from the classic horror film, The Wolfman. Whoever is bitten by a werewolf and lives becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, quit handing me that. You're just wasting your time. The wolf bit you, didn't he? Yeah. Wow, when this old lady shows up in a movie, you know somebody's days are numbered. But you can win $800 if you can tell me the name of the actor who shared that scene with Maria Ospenskaya. Who's the man? I think it was Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi? That's incorrect. Melanie and Eric, you can steal their $800. Who's the actor? Lon Chaney. I need more specific. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. We're looking for Lon Chaney Jr. Two completely different actors. We can't give you the money there. 
So at the end of round two, $1,900 for Eric and Melanie, $700 for Pam and Allison. Let's take a break. We'll come back for round three, more fun at the movies, and we'll see who goes for the $25,000 right after these words. game now time for round three and players listen to this a lot of money at stake here in round three because our first question is going to be worth five hundred dollars then we double it to a thousand for the second question and we double it again the third question now worth two thousand dollars so let's go back to melanie and eric and select the category please paint in the neck the paint in the neck paint in the neck okay let's see if it's what you think it is well, the legend of the vampire is our subject here. So let's tune in to the latest television version of this folklore and watch a scene from the series Forever Night. Everything that can help you regain your mortality is wasted when you drink this stuff. It is the blood that keeps you from coming over. I am what I am. And I don't think Betty Ford takes vampires. <laughs> now, that was Garrett Wynn Davis as the vampire. For $500, name the first actor to play the legendary vampire in a talking film in 1931. Bela Lugosi. Lugosi. Bela Lugosi. Yeah, I think they prompted you earlier, didn't they? Yes, it is Bela Lugosi. Okay. You knew it would be a correct answer eventually. Now, over in our picture gallery is the actor Ben Cross. Now, Mr. Cross played a vampire in the remake of the long-running series Dark Shadows. You can win $1,000 if you can tell me the name of his character on that program. Barnabas Collins. Barnabas Collins. You're a $1,000 richer. Good for you. Now we go to the movies and see a biting moment from the film Dracula starring Frank Langella. Now, the vampire story was originally written by a famous author. For $2,000, tell me the name of the author of the original novel, Dracula. Or is it Shelley? Or... Mary Shelley. No, that is incorrect. Pam and Allison, you can steal $2,000. Bram Stoker, right? Bram Stoker. Right, Bram Stoker it is. Good for you. Put you at $2,700. Nice comeback. You trail by $700. But it's your turn to pick a category. What are you going to go with? Uh, bathtub ring. rings. Since we have a kind. Bathtub rings. Bathtub rings. Okay. Well, soap styles of the rich and famous in Hollywood are the subject of this category. So let's go to the movies and watch our first bathing beauty in a scene from The Women. Get out. Get out! Go on, go on! Hello, you. No, I'm in the tub. And I'm shriveled to a peanut waiting for this call. I'll tell you, just about every woman in Hollywood who didn't get the part of Scarlett O'Hara was in this film, including the woman we just saw in the tub. For $500, name her. John Crawford, right? John Crawford, Bob. You got it, that's it. All right, that's $500 more. Puts you at $3,200. Now, our next scene features a refreshing moment from the hit series Wings. He's it is okay. I, I am not seeing a thing. Uh, but if I were, may I be permitted to say, wow. The privacy is hard to come by for Crystal Bernard in that scene. But remember now, most of the action in this show usually takes place at the local airport. For $1,000, tell me where the airport is located. Nantucket. We think it's Nantucket. No, that is incorrect. Melanie and Eric, you can steal $1,000. Me? Me? No, it's not, no. Maine. No, that's also incorrect. You're very close, Pam and Allison. Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Oh. Cape Cod. Nobody gets a thousand, but here's a chance at two thousand. Our next scene is from the new film, Far and Away. Let's go to the movies and watch a moist moment with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. No! 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 Tell me. Tell me you like now, you might know that this film traces the adventures of two Irish immigrants who come to America to claim part of this land for their own. 
You'll earn $2,000 if you can tell me where they ultimately settled. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Bob. You got it. $2,000 more. Good for you. That gives you the lead at $5,200. Got a good battle going on here. Melanie and Eric with $3,400. But now it's time for our double feature round where anything can happen. And here's how we play it. I'm going to show you two film clips and then ask a question pertaining to both films. Now, in this round, our players will be able to bet either all, half, or none of the money that they've accumulated so far. And at the end of the round, whoever has the most money is going to go on to our fast picture round for $25,000 in cash. Now, to help you make your wagers, I'm going to tell you that our double feature round focuses on the many talents of Kim Basinger. All right? So you have 10 seconds to lock in your wagers, starting now. They're betting either all, half, or none of what they think they know about Kim Basinger. All right, the bets are locked in. Now let's go to our first film as Kim appears as a doodle in the new film, Cool World. No, it's do not have sex with doodles. It's the oldest law in Cool World. If that happens, you call me. I got it, boy. Well, she's even sexy as a drawing, isn't she? Now, our next film contains another sensuous look at Miss Basinger. That was a scene from the very controversial film, Nine and a Half Weeks. Players, you can win cash in our double feature round if you can tell me the name of her co-star in either of those two films. You have 20 seconds starting now. Good luck. Looking for Kim Basinger's co-stars in either Nine and a Half Weeks or Cool World. Whoever has the most cash at the end of this round is going to go and play for $25,000. Pam and Allison's answers are in. Melanie and Eric, their answer is in. All right, let's find out how they did. Melanie and Eric with $3,400. We need either of those co-stars. What did you say? I said Mickey Rourke and Gabriel Byrne. You got them both. You didn't need them both, but you got them both. How much of the $3,400 did you bet? You bet them all. You double your money. Put you at $6,800. Good for you. Now, Pam and Allison with 5,200, what did you say? You're applauding we already. Mickey Rourke. You said Mickey Rourke, how much did you bet? We bet half. You bet half, that's going to be enough. What's it put you at? $7,800, you're the champion, good for you. Allison and Pam, you're going to go on and play for the big money. Melanie and Eric, look at this, you did so well with $6,800. Thanks for being here on the Hollywood game, you're great players. Pam and Allison, stay where you are, because when we come back, they're going to go into the fast picture round, and they get a shot at another $25,000. It's going to be fun. Stay where you are. All right. All right. Allison and Pam, good luck to you. You've done great so far. You have $7,800 in cash. Come on, let's parlay that knowledge into 25000 here right. in our fast picture round, okay? okay? Now, you have a choice of two categories in this round. You can play either science fiction and horror creatures or Meryl Streep films. What's it going to be? Meryl Streep films. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Then we're going to show you pictures from Meryl Streep films. You have to identify the movie. For each correct identification you give me, we'll light up one letter in the Hollywood sign. Each time you light a letter, we'll give you $1,000. But if you light up all nine of them, it's $25,000 in cash, all right? Good luck to you. Now, we play this game in two parts. First one of you has 15 seconds to identify as many pictures as possible, and then your teammate will have 15 seconds to try to finish lighting up Hollywood. Who's going first? I'm going to go first. You are. Okay, yeah. Pam, if you would, stand right here so you can't see. Allison, you come with me. Give me the correct answer when we show you the picture or yell out pass. We'll go on to the next one. Okay, okay. Bob. We'll give you 15 seconds on the clock, and we'll start that clock when we show you your first picture. All right. All righty. 
Meryl Streep film. 15 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Go! Uh, she Devil. Right. Like Kramer vs. Kramer. Right. Chelsea's Pope's Choice. The past. Uh, Pope's Choice. Right. Um, Postcards from the Edge. Right. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Time is up. You got four out of the five. Not bad. Come on up here, sis. Pam is going to try to complete the work. She got four. That means you need to get five identifications, and you will get $25,000. All right, we'll start with the first picture that Allison did not see, and if we have time, we'll go back to any that she passed on. All right, 15 seconds on the clock. Good luck to you. Meryl Streep Films, go! Silkwood. Right. Out of Africa. Right. Uh, the, the, the French Lieutenant's Woman. Right. Oh, pass. Um, I'm crying in the dark. Right. Congratulations to you. Come on down here. Watch your step. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Well, to help you sharpen your Hollywood trivia skills, these new movies just opening across the country could help. Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Inventor Wayne Selinski makes the discovery of a lifetime and is once again sharing it with his kid. Some laugh. We're better than what we had in the attic, huh? to the big screen in a romantic comedy sure to please audiences across the nation. He has a way with women guaranteed to make you laugh. Baby. Uh, I'll give you $20 for that lead. Come on, Kurt! Come who knows, maybe something you've seen will appear on next week's show. And who knows, maybe it'll lead to $32,800 like Pam and Allison did. Congratulations to you both. I'll shake both your hands with this job. You are terrific. Thanks for being here. Hope you've enjoyed testing your knowledge of TV and the movies right here on The Hollywood Game. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. If you enjoyed the scenes you watched tonight, you can see them in theaters or on network syndication and cable TV or get them at your local video rental store. The judges have since ruled that the answer Nantucket is correct. The winners will be awarded an additional $1,500. Next is a comedy special. It's so special, you just have to see for yourself how special it is. Say what? Premier's next.